Dear unforgettable Knut A. Stavig, America is good for everyone, and especially for people that have small farms in Norway and then come here. We have not left much behind that we feel sorry about. These words, written in 1881, begin what would become an extensive collection of letters spanning over a half a century of correspondence between Norwegian immigrant Lars Stavig and his half-brother Knut Stavig, who stayed behind in Norway. The letters give voice and reality to the American immigrant experience. Woven through the letters are the dreams, aspirations, joys, and sorrows of the two brothers, one who came to the prairie and one who stayed by the sea. out on one of these fishing trips on the 8th of March in 1872. A severe storm came up suddenly. The sea was whipped into such a fury that it was impossible to see or hear each other in the blinding storm, although you were only a few feet apart in the same boat. Hundreds of brave men lost their lives on this memorable day. Those that were saved were saved by miracle, as if by accident. Our boat was steered with the wind for several miles before it landed, and we were saved, but knew we were not saved through any effort of our own. It was God's will that we should live on for a few more years. Lars Stavig. Throughout the 19th century and into the early 20th century, throngs of Norwegian immigrants arrived on American shores. The reasons for leaving Norway were as numerous as the people making the exodus. A harsh life and poverty drove many to join the immigrants going to America to find a better future for their children. 32-year-old fisherman Lars Stavig, his wife Marin Husted Stavig and young sons Andrew, age 7, Hans, age 4, and Magnus, age 2, decided to join the Norwegians going to America. They left Rumsdal, Norway in May of 1876. Lars left behind three half-brothers, two half-sisters, and a stepmother. The immigrant family arrived in Morris, Minnesota in June of 1876 and went to the Einar Johnson farm. They lived with a bachelor for three years. Then they moved to railroad land nearby where they became squatters, which meant that they would have the first chance to buy the land from the railroad when and if it was put on the market. It was his half-brother Knut, the second oldest son, to whom Lars felt the closest and with whom he corresponded. Kære uforglømmende bror, Knut A. Stavik. Dear unforgettable brother Knut A. Stavig, America is good for everyone, and especially for people that have small farms in Norway and then come here. We have not left much behind that we feel sorry about. Dear brother, if you believe what I'm writing, you know my true feeling about America. In all sincerity, if you would like to come, it is best to come before you have anything in Norway you desire. You can visit me next summer, and if you don't like it, you can make enough money next summer to travel back and forth as you like. Don't let the devil rule over you. Find yourself a woman, K.A. Stavig. Lars Stavig, January 24, 1881. Apparently, Knut listened to Lars's admonition to find himself a woman, for he soon married Anna, who bore him four girls and a boy, Andreas. I'm 36 years old, the 21st of November this year, 1881. I hear, dear brother, that you think it is not going well for me. I must answer you about that. I have none of the world's riches, which can be counted in so many thousand dollars in money. I have my marn and coffee for my house the whole year. I live in my white bread days. I want to tell you that there is a lot of work to be had here. They are building two railroad tracks two to three miles between. The closest to my home is only one and one half miles away. Only three miles away, they are laying out a plan for a new town. That is where we will deliver our wheat next fall. The railroad work is over for the fall, but in the spring, the work will again start in earnest. The pay for a grown man is $2 a day, and it is $4 if he has a horse. But if you want to stay home, don't let me tear you away. 
If you don't try anything, you will never know how it will work out. You must try it to find out.